Hello everybody. When I tell you that I am obsessed with Survivor's games, like I'm low-key, high-key obsessed with Survivor's games, and I have not given up on this game. No, no. I'm still at it. Um, what I have done though is I have ref refunded all of my Omni credits because I thought maybe we should take a new strategy here. Maybe there's something different that we could be doing. For example, I think that it actually might be really smart to put a lot into, excuse me, health regeneration. We regen 0.1 health per second. Great. And now we upgrade one more. I see. Okay, I understand now. What we have here is we have the line that is upgrading, and then we also have the circles. So we could make it all the way here if we wanted to. But if we want to unlock, and so if, sorry, if we're on the line, we're on the line, we could unlock 0.5 health per second, which is actually not bad. If we want this, recover 10% maximum health whenever the hero gains new level, we have to upgrade it. And if we upgrade it again, then we've gotten this one. So now we're also recovering maximum 12%. I don't know that I want to do that much, so I'm going to refund this one more time now that I understand how it works. I think we're going to take it to here. Half a health per second seems really good, and we're going to recover 10% max health whenever we gain a level. We still have 600 left, and I was thinking, since the cowboy is a gun, gun person, we should increase our projectile speed. I think that's going to get stuff out faster. So I think that's actually quite smart to take. So now um, we have a 10% chance to double projectile speed if we take this. Sure, we'll take it. We'll go back here and we've now increased our projectile speed by 20%. So I think that's actually really good. And then with our last money that we have, because we can still do a little bit of upgrading. Now I think is when we go over here, we'll take one level of strength. We'll take one level of down and um yeah let's see what this does for us um we're gonna go back into the cyborg wastelands we're gonna keep playing with jake thorn and uh let's just see how it goes and i'm really hoping that we don't have the lag problem that we had last time i have no idea if it's gonna happen or not so we'll just have to take it as we go i was playing other games um oh we don't have the drift problem which is great I was playing some other games um, today, and I didn't have any performance issues with them. So uh, uh, hopefully that all goes okay. Okay, projectile speed seems like we're just getting out more damage faster, which seems really good. We took damage from the... Um, we could increase our hero's movement speed. I feel like that one's just a good one to take so we can dodge stuff. So we are going to take that one, but then we're going to focus on our weapons. Just because we already have a mildly buffed weapon to begin with, like I'm a little less worried. Oh, dodge that. Right, we should go and get some of these. And our health regen actually made it so that we don't have to get those cola cans anymore as desperately, which is actually really clutch. Let's go see what other goodies our chests have for us. There's some credits here. Yep, he's going to come out of the woodworks, but he's gone. Boom. Um, Let's take, take more projectile speed. Let's take some damage. I think we're going to need damage pretty soon. Um, Yep, just keep walking around. There's another chest up there that we should probably go to. We've defeated 63% of, of the enemies. Yep, got some more monies. I wonder if that's just, like, the money spot. Come on. Come on. Some piercing would be nice if they're gonna bunch up in a crowd like this. They're okay. Look how they're walking, though. Like, is that not kind of cute? I think it's kind of cute. Just doing some little happy taps. There you go. That took a long time. And now, okay, so those blue ones are crystals for us to buy things at the in-run shops, which is nice to know. There we go. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, it's the cola. And we have victory. So we're going to just mosey on over here. 
we could get some pierce. Pierce is good. Increase the size of all attacks and projectiles by 5%. I think pierce might be better. Let's take a pierce for now. And uh, we can take something new. So why don't we take a slime grenade? Cute and bouncing exploding slime seems adorable. And some great area damage. Okay, what do we want to take? There is a loot goblin here and we still haven't seen that so i think i do want to go there we're gonna take on a tough battle right at the beginning not wise but uh i don't want to run from a challenge let's see if we can handle it slimes kind of go they're cute yeah slimes feel good that 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 has good vibes happy little bouncy slimes Absolutely. Oh, you're bad. You're bad vibes all the way. Roll through this. Just collect some. We got a little bit of damage there that we have to deal with. But overall, it's not too bad. Roll. Roll. Oops. Okay, we're going to run away from this area. And... I really need to be a little bit more careful here. You are a problem. You are not. But you are over here a problem. We have more problems over here. Ooh. Ever maple, ever maple leaf increases our health regen. But I think I'd rather reduce the cooldown on our slime grenade run. Okay. Get a few more crystals here. I think this one's a health. Nope. I, I still don't know what the hourglass does. If anybody's been playing this game, if you know what the hourglass does, please leave a comment because I unfortunately am clueless. That's something that like I would like to um, have more information about in game. Like a lot of times you just touch things and like figure it out, but this one, like, you can't even always collect the hourglass, so it's very confusing to me. I truly don't know what it means. Ooh, a legendary slime grenade. I mean, legendary cooldown, just bring it down to three seconds. I mean, sure, we'll take that. I tend to always get the same kind of upgrades, so I need to be a little bit careful this run to try and diversify more. Maybe? I mean, like, what do y'all think? Maybe I don't have to? What is the strat? I'm just gonna keep going until, you know, we get it. Uh, duration might be good. But projectile speed, I feel like I like that. Speedy build. So we picked up the hourglass there, but it's still confusing. Okay, um, just a regular battle. Next. Let's defeat these enemies. Ooh, I did not get hit there, which was nice. I feel like our slimes, our happy little slimes, are a little bigger. Oh, oh, I should have dodged better. Don't touch me. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you, why are they getting me so easily? <laughs> Logo Gamer stands in front of projectiles and wonders why they hit her. Yes, I know. I know, I am aware. Oh, run. Run. I want to release my ultimate, but when you do that, it plants you, and I feel like it's safer to keep moving. Like, I really feel like the ultimate is kind of a dangerous play. Run. Get this guy, get this guy. But sometimes, you really just have to plant and do it. It does give you like a little bit of shielding, but it's really not as much as you would hope. This one should be a health, I hope. It was not a health. Mm. Mm. I am out of dashes. I need to be a little bit more careful here. Let's increase our damage. Oh, run. Okay. Oh. I was trying to get this guy. 
for what I got was in trouble. Those projectiles also go very far. I'm quite surprised at how far they reach. Um, we're at 98% enemies now, so I feel pretty comfortable trying to go around and getting some health. Just seems like a smart thing to do. Got a little bit of cola right here. And I think we just have that one guy left. This one. There we go. Excellent. Come to me. Okay, um... More piercing is nice. We'll take more piercing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, off to the next level. Our healing is fine right now. Another tough battle. Oh my gosh, right. We now have these um, angry boys who come at us with um, their, you see, explosive power. <laughs> I need to describe things in a different way. There's, it's not necessary. <laughs> I gotta tell y'all, I'm on like day three of a migraine, so yeah, you know what? At this point, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but you know what? The fun times must be had. Life must be enjoyed, and uh, we keep going. We keep thriving in spite of it all, and that's how I got my name, Spite Thriver. Because you know what? Sometimes you just have to make a choice to. Thrive to spite everything and in spite of everything. So that's what we're doing. Uh, projectile speed, increasing that seems like a great idea. Also, duration would probably be really good there for our... Wait for me. For our um, slime balls. Okay, we'll try and get out of the way of these guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, those projectiles just go so far. It's upsetting. They can really just reach you across the map, which is crazy. Stop and say didn't. I mean, we're doing we're doing okay so far. This hasn't been too bad, but really, where it comes to it is when you get to the boss fight. The last boss fight that we had, really, I was just so. Build-wise, just completely unprepared for it, and I don't know what happened. I'll take you. Don't know. Oh, oh gosh, okay. Projectiles just getting rid of all my health right here. We only have, we're at 93%, so we only have a few big boys left. A few big chunkies. So it's worth going around the map once to see um, what we have left in terms of loot. We do have a cola here that we can save, and uh, we're back to full health. We're we're cruising, we're cruising, but not for bruising. We're enjoying life and uh, living it up. All right, what do we want here? Projectile speed and knockback is fine. Mm, I think we'll just take more projectile speed. We're going to get our damage out there faster. Okay, um, now I'm nervous for this one. It's a boss fight. Let's see how it goes. It says defeat enemies, but really it's much more than that. Shouldn't have dodged there yet. I'm going to dodge out. Okay. And at some point, we are going to meet whatever nemesis uh, we're going to face first. So let's see how that goes. It's the same guy. It's the guy who, like, rains trash on you. I think we got to just, like, get close to him. So we got to find him first. Where is he at? There he is. Okay, we're going to find him. He is going to be the problem in our life. Dodge over that. Ooh, the tar slows you down a lot. Run. I wonder if we can just, like, keep him going, like, along here. Just tar the sides. Just tar the sides. We're gonna keep smashing him. Just drag him along the sides. We're gonna make it up here. But we're gonna keep, uh... 
dragging him along the sides so that he doesn't bring his tar all over the map. Oh dear. Run. I got too far away from him. Run. No, 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 run, run. Okay, there we go. He came the wrong way. He is causing problems. Get away, get away, get away. Can you stop what you're doing? Stop. No. <gasps> I think I just got smashed double on that one. That was crazy. That's a really hard boss. What did I even... That one was really hard. He is, like, pretty OP. Okay, let's go to our power-ups. We maybe just need more damage now. First strike at each enemy deals 15% more damage. Let's refund this one. Refund just this one. We're going to upgrade, and then we'll go and we'll click into this one and upgrade it. And, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, let's take it one more time. We'll run it from the top and we'll see how far we can get. So that boss is totally different from the first boss that we had. And I feel like, yeah, he's, I, he's just super overpowered. I don't know if we can actually beat that boss with this character without a lot of upgrades. Which, like, I have mixed feelings about. Um, I feel like even in roguelites, you should have the ability to beat... The boss, whether or not you have, um, like, the the meta upgrades, I think is what they're called. I feel like you should be able to, like, have a chance. Like, you shouldn't need the meta upgrades to beat the boss. It should just make it, like, easier or more OP or more fun. But I know that that can be controversial. Because, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I want a game to respect my time. So I feel like... I'm not saying that... Hold on. I'm not saying that this game doesn't respect my time. And I'm not saying that I don't have a fun time with this game. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying, like... I feel like that boss in particular is a little unbalanced. It feels like a end end of the run boss instead of a halfway up the run boss. Just because the other boss that I encountered was definitely um, beatable without any upgrades at all. So is it happening that that boss is showing up because I've done some meta upgrades? I'm not sure. That's that's hard to tell. Um, let's just take some cooldown. So yeah, this game, that being said, everything being said, I've been really enjoying playing this game. Like, I lose, I'm immediately back in again. And that's because this game is very, very fun. We're going to take a rune of power for sure. We're going to get strong. Because this game is fun, you want to go back in and you want to keep playing. And I think that is so good and necessary for games like this. Especially when you're just basically playing a loop the entire time. So this game is an early access. They're still developing it. This is by no means a finished game. And um, yeah, I think that... All feedback at this point is probably feedback that devs want. And uh, this is just my feedback. So hopefully it will be useful in the development. They do also have um, a little message when you start up the game that I don't think I've ever shown that's like, hey, you can contact us this way to give us feedback, etc. So um, what if we just make a machine gun? I'm going to go in all in on projectile speed. We're, we're machine gunning this. This is going to be... Great. A phoenix egg sounds cool. Um, fires three. A plasma gun fires three close range plasma blasts. Or we get spheres of sp spheres of flame spiraling around the hero. Okay, this. If I'm going to do, let's take plasma gun. If I'm going to do like a projectile speed build, let's go all in. Let's just go all in and see how it is. Okay, um, what shall we do? I want to get, I want to get to this area boss. So this is a mini boss. And 
wait, wait, wait. This is the full boss, and then this is a mini boss. Interesting. But if we go up this way, we can experience the loot goblin. So I guess we're taking the mini boss no matter what. Hmm. But let's take a tough battle now. Let's see how our new weapon holds up to it. Ooh. Ooh la la. If we can get that on big cooldown, that seems really good. Ooh. I like the plasma gun. Look at that. It's just eating them up. Okay. Yep, and some credits so we can do our upgrades. Oh, please. Oh, I dodged right into that. That's fantastic. Yo, is Plasma Gun a new favorite weapon for this game? So, yeah, that's another, like, really interesting thing in these games. Like, do how do the synergies play out? So, in something like um, ooh, Vampire Survivors, you kind of want to have a balance of area versus um projectile type damage in twilight survivors i feel like it matters less you always want a little bit of area damage but yeah i mean every game does it differently are these weapons that we're doing do they have just the ultimate ability that you trigger or is it also something that can evolve like in many games? We haven't reached that part yet, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there and I'm going to try and show you guys as much as uh, I can about this little this little journey that I'm taking you all on. All right. Um, we are going to ooh, give some piercing to our plasma gun. Get it in those crowds and get it piercing the crowds. That seems good. Yep. Did that. Oh my gosh. Plasma gun goes great. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Okay, um, this battle, I think we're eating them up. So we're, oh. <laughs> as I just get into like a little difficult situation, we're going to just um try and get some of these chests real quick. Drag everybody around us. It's going to be fine. I think, too, I need to play a little bit more to understand, like, how enemies spawn and, like, how they trigger and all of that. That's something that eventually, with time, you do figure out with a game like this. Let's get those monies. Okay. Um, we're at 85% of the enemies defeated, and I, I think we did so fast thanks to this plasma. There we go. Great, 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 great. Also, um, I have the music on really low, so it doesn't get DMCA'd if it's copyrighted, but um, this music goes hard. I really like the soundtrack on this. It's great. Yeah, the game design, like, so good. Everything's so good. We're going to take um, this one. Increase everybody's strength uh, by 20%. That seems really good. Oh my god, an epic one. We're going to take more. We're going to just increase the heck out of our strength. So that when we get to that boss, we can just one-shot him as much as, like, possible. Okay, we're going this way, this way. Okay. I'm determined to see the loot goblin. What is the loot goblin going to be like? Is it a futile exercise? It might be. It might be. But you know what? The risk we run. Okay. Whoa. I do like that we have four dashes with this character. It feels very, um very useful i think it would be smart to start taking some walking speed because these guys are going fast like fast fast oh my gosh i didn't know that we could walk in the wall like that okay goodbye dogs our strength has been really really good um done good great things for us Um, I am leading our our little horde of enemies around. Um, because I'm breaking open the chests, but I'm not able to uh, collect them yet. So I'm hoping that I can collect it on the second pass. Get rid of you. Get them credits. Where was it? Oh, there's an extra chest here. And we've healed up. <laughs> I like how they're all just like following us and I'm just here for the chests. Like, yes, let's go. 
Okay, we're at 53%. It's time to uh, start getting serious about slaying. I would love a cooldown on our plasma gun because it's strong. A magnet, perfect. Okay, let's see what we have here. Duration? Is duration good? I guess duration would be good. Because it's going to go out there longer. I suppose that's fine. I don't know if duration makes sense on the gun. I'm just assuming that makes the projectiles go farther. Um, yep, yep, yep. Still okay. Look how far those... Oh, it hit me. Uh, but we got a cola right here, so it's... In Problem. Oh. Oh. So yeah, different kinds of builds. Uh, something like Rotato, which is similar survivor style game, but a little bit different. Um, in that game, you actually usually want to focus on one specific kind of weapon in order to make yourself really strong. So um, yeah, every everything is going to be unique. I think we take the worn jet boots. I think we need to add the... The strength one was really, really tempting, but I do think that we're going to start needing some walking speed so we don't get hit. And uh, we're so close. These are our last guys right here. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm, I'm running away from him to get more crystals. We got an achievement for destroying 250 crates, which means that we're going to have more upgrade cash later. And uh, that's good. All right, we're into a tough battle. Let's see how we do here. The tough battles at this point is when they start bringing out the big dogs, by which I mean um, these bomb guys. Uh, this... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just dodged out of the way. I think that I keep dying to those red guys, the ones who carry the shields and the bombs. I think that's been, like, my biggest issue. Like, when that thing goes off, if I'm in it, I'm toast. I'm pretty sure. I think that's how I perished the past two times. Like, it's it's a different level of damage compared to the regular enemies. We're okay, though. Still okay. Run. A little damage. A little damage. run um I, oops i oh no 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 run get out of there oh my god what happened to you buddy i've got no more dashes left if i think if we didn't take the little um walking speed we would be super overwhelmed right now i'm um, just waiting for my dashes to come back to life Okay, 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 roll. We're gonna roll. There was a big, yeah, there's a big crystal over here we're gonna take. Ooh, we can bring our move speed up to 7.5, so we will. Yep, that's good. Run, 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 run. That is a lot faster. Gosh. We're gaming, let's go. Boom. Run away, run away. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not attacking, uh, the, the main reason is that the attacks are automatic, they're on a cooldown, and I can only aim, I can't trigger them. Which um, is definitely, I'm fine with that. That's a game mechanic that I'm totally okay with. Um, but it does mean that dodging is kind of important because you're not gonna be able to um, slay an enemy like slay your way out of enemy danger necessarily um i need to get some health why why y'all up in my business like this ask for health get money ask for money get crystals pitbull <laughs> okay y'all if y'all don't like pitbull you need to you need to get on the pitbull train Pitbull is, um, 
Pitbull is life. Everybody knows a Pitbull song. I don't care. If you don't like Pitbull, you've got to reevaluate your life. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you ever, do you ever, do you ever just realize like how late you uh, <laughs> record videos? I, I record real late. If you haven't been able to tell, um, I really don't care very much about my blaster. Our plasma gun is doing so good. I want strength. I think that one's really important. We're gonna keep going. We have, we have this boss. I'm scared it's gonna be the same boss. We're stronger than we've ever been before. It's our best chance at getting that boss. I still don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it. We're, we're moving fast, we're dodging. We're just gonna keep going around like this, try and get this guy. There's a lot going on in this, in this level. It's a little concerning. I would like a heal, but there are no heal. Oh, that was a heal. Okay, I'll get it on the next round. Uh, at a certain point, there we go. Yep, it's the same guy. It's the same guy. Oh, we can get that run. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. He's here. Got the little health. Roll out of the that. Um, we're gonna get surrounded by trash. Okay, let's ultimate. What? Okay. He's really hard. He's really hard to beat. We're I, I don't know I don't know how that could have gone differently. I guess I chose a bad time to like plant and do the ultimate. But then if you're far away from him, he's throwing down a lot of trash and your dot. So maybe, maybe the strategy has to be that you destroy all of the minions first before trying to take him on so that they don't get you. I, I don't know. What is the strategy for this boss? I need a little advice. Let me know what you think. Um, we're going to claim these credits. Heck yes. I do think that our strategy and putting things into a little bit survivability in our power-ups is a good idea. Um, but yeah, what do you think is the best power-up to choose um, for our meta upgrades? Like, out of all of these, where should I put my money? Should I evenly distribute it? Should I focus everything into one? Like, I've got plenty plenty of things I can yeah like about 2,000 credits right now that we can use to put into something is it even possible to like upgrade every single credit with only 69 achievements I'm not sure I'm not sure so um yeah let me know what you think I had a lot of fun playing this game I will be back and uh maybe next time we will check out the new character here um Sasha maybe I'll have a little better luck with her so that's all for today have a great day, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. Take care and see y'all next time. Bye.